<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my, my first guest tonight is an Emmy award-winning comedian you know from the Hangover movies, Between Two Ferns, and Baskets. Please welcome to The Late Show, Zach Galifianakis. <laughs> Hi. N Hi. Nice, nice to have you on. Nice to be here, Stephen. Thank you very much. Uh, it, it was. I have a couple of questions right off the bean here. I got, just I got, two. I, Good. Yeah. Well, got, before we get to any of the other questions, I got one that just occurred to me because John was saying before that he. You, what did you hear? Hello. John. John. Zach. Zach. Zach John. Hi. Uh, Zach plays the piano too. You play the piano too. Don't oh, you? A little yeah, bit. Yeah. A little, little bit. bit. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You heard a story about about his his face. What yes, did you hear? I heard that it's named Shelley. Your beard. Your that beard. Shelly. It's Sheila. <laughs> but Sheila. Wow. It is. I did name it. It's oh. not. It's very close to Shelly, but it's Sheila. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. I also have a merkin. If you want to ask about that. <laughs> <laughs> that. Do you know what a merkin is? Sure, I know what a merkin is. I'm an adult. <laughs> Are you proud to be an American? Uh, <laughs> what, what is your merkin called? <sighs> Chuck. Chuck. Just Chuck. Chuck. Yep. Now, is this beard called Sheila? And if you shaved it off and grew it back, would they have a different name for the next beard? This, this is always just going to be Sheila. Always be Sheila. Okay. Yep. You got, they got the standing ovation when you came in here. People love Zach Galifianakis. You've done stand-up TV, movies, uh, web series. Where do people mostly know you from when they like stop you on the street or like yell at you when you're going down the sidewalk? What is the thing? What is the the thing? Well, you've usually done? I just hear, "Hey, Sheila." No. Um... <laughs> mm -hmm. The and you other, go, I'm here too. The other day, I was, um, I was in, I was in Venice. I was walking around. I was not really walking. I was just standing there. And this Venice guy, Beach, Venice yeah, Beach. this guy walks up to me and he goes, "Hey, uh, anybody ever tell you you look like the guy from Hangover 3? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, uh, I didn't say. I, I just got, yeah, I get that all the time. And he just walked away. That was the extent <laughs> of the conversation. Three. And, Three. So then, last week I was at work and I was, I had this, uh, I kind of had a hair extension uh, in the back of my hair and I was at a convenience store during my lunch break. And I this was, is for baskets? And yes, I was at my, uh, I was on the outskirts of LA. I was in line to buy something and the cashier goes, you look familiar. <laughs> and the guy behind me in line goes, it's Chuck Norris. <laughs> it's Chuck Norris. I mean, and then the ca I hear the cashier go, uh, like he's trying to figure it out. He goes, I think he's in Hangover 3. No, he didn't say that. But it was, wow. I, I couldn't believe that I got mistaken for Charles Norris. I was so. Wow. You could have been Walker, Texas Ranger. I love that. That would wow. be, yeah. Do you know any martial arts of any kind? Do I look like I do? <laughs> oh, you look just like Chuck Norris. I look just so like I Charles figured... Norris. No, I don't know any of the martial arts yet. Now, you and I have something almost in common. That you're from North Carolina and I'm from South Carolina. Yep. And people often mix up towns like that. Oh, to South Carolina. Oh, yeah, I have a friend from Charlotte. No, go to hell. Okay, <laughs> they're very, very different states. Are you a proud North Car a, a Tar Heel? Did you call it Tar Heel? I'm more proud of being North from North Carolina than you should be from being South Carolina. That's. Ooh! Wow. 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 Yeah, this is yeah, some sure. inner Carolina fighting it, it, right now. The funny thing is that they think we're joking. <laughs> We're not. <laughs> Do you really have a bias against people from North Carolina? No, I only have a thing against your barbecue. Oh, wow. oh, now now those are fighting words. I know. <laughs> These are the things. Like I think we've received letters like from the governor of the state saying, "Come down here, taste our barbecue, and then I will punch you in the face," or something like that. <laughs> They're really mad at me down in North Carolina. I love North Carolinians. I love, I love especially. I love the Outer Banks. I love the mountains. I love everything about North Carolina, other than that damn vinegar stuff. What that y'all put on the barbecue. You get perfectly fine, dry rub, smoked barbecue, and then you come in there and just <laughs> all over it with vinegar. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? What is a South Carolina barbecue? What is, well, what is there's a lot of different barbecue sauces, but the characteristic barbecue sauce South Carolina is a mustard, mustard based, based sauce. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. And we're vinegar based, and we can, right. we can be different, Stephen. We don't have to build a wall between us. <laughs> 
That's Pedro's. That's south of the border. Is what that is. That's south oh of the my border. god. Oh my god. No, okay, but see, because you, because uh, 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 you know, you're from North Carolina, my friend. Uh, are you from the Raleigh area? I'm from the the foothills, the mountains. Okay. The area. Well, my my friend Amy Sedaris, you know, grew up in Raleigh, mm -hmm. and her congressman, her congressman was your was your uncle. Nick yes. Galifianakis? Yes, he was a this, congressman. Nick, the congressman, Nick Galifianakis, that was Amy Sedaris's. Do you know the campaign song of your, of your Uncle Nick? I only know it because old people like you have... <laughs> <laughs> God. I'm only five years younger than you. I don't know why. Oh, I, I, don't I know, know why exactly why you said it, by the way. <laughs> okay, go ahead. But I've had people sing it to me, but I've never heard the... I don't know what it... I've heard people, but I don't know the original or anything like that. But so he had my last name. Well, yes. I have his last name, which is very long. So yes. they came up with a song, so people would yeah. remember the the name, I guess. Right. But it was really the Nick part that people. It was N is for Nick, Nick Galifianakis. I is for his integrity. integrity. C is for Congress. K is for keep him there. We need Nick in Washington D.C. Nick Galifianakis. <laughs> Though, did Amy sing it? Because Amy Sedaris, Amy Sedaris loved that song so much that wow. apropos not of you or knowing you or anything, she used to sing that song. That's and I just so loved it. cool. Yeah. That is so cool. We growing up, we had a my mom taught us a song, uh, Funky Cold Medina. No, it was um, <laughs> Sure, sure. So we would learn our own last name, and Sesame Street used to have a, a song where they would sing the twelve. Yeah. It'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Off we go to the ladybug's picnic. Oh yeah, sure. My name has twelve, so we learned. <laughs> I just heard someone yawn. <laughs> no, that was a gasp. That was a gasp of joy. They really basically went. Oh, anyway, is I, he I, going I, to I, sing it? <laughs> what? Uh, now I don't want to sing it because I've buried the lead, but it's G A G A L I F I A N A K I S. Off we go <laughs> to the ladybug's Lady picnic. picnic. Yeah, yeah. It's a terrible story. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's a fine it's story. Fine. It's an absolutely it's fine, fine story. <laughs> Okay, here we go. So now you got a movie. Oh, yeah, get it. Yeah, now, you, now you got a movie. It's an animated movie. Mm -hmm. It's called Missing Link. Yes, Tell sir. us what it's about there. Missing Link is a stop motion. Uh, you know what stop motion is? Uh, uh, sure, sure. Yeah. Like claymation when we were kids, but right. better now. Yes. And uh, <laughs> it's about this Sasquatch who was living in the, the Northwest, and he kind of is lonely, and he wants to see if there's any other Sasquatches in the world. So he writes a letter to this guy to help him find his ilk. And... Uh, so it's a kind of a road trip movie through the world with me and uh, uh, Zoe Saldana's in it and uh, Jack Human, J uh, Hugh Jackman. Um, yeah, and I think we have a scene here. I think we have a scene with you and and Hugh. I personally brought the clip. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this clip is. You're supposed to know what it is. You don't know what it is. It. It's, You're trying to get over a wall. It's animated. That's all you need. <laughs> Jim. Here, now throw this rope over the wall. What what did you just do? Uh, what do you mean I threw the rope over the wall? I didn't mean all of it. Well, you never said that. I'm very literal. Oh, you don't say. No, I do I do say. I just said that right then. Aren't you listening? <clears throat> now what are we gonna do? You said throw the rope over, so I threw the rope over. Well, why didn't you just throw this over as well? Okay. <clears throat> Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kids. Can I tell Thank you something? Thank you so much. Oh. I forgot oh. to say something. We to say, say something. This is a great movie for kids, and I just want to tell you this thing that I took. I was at a restaurant with my two-year-old the other day, and I, you know, it's a, it was quiet, and he just yelled out, "Call the police! I farted." <laughs> Have a good night. Missing Link is in theaters this Friday. Zach Galifianakis, everybody. We'll be right back with Pat.